But then I would think and look at them like, Are you new here? Hey guys, I'm Crystal Amanda and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing 15 travel tips you should know before you fly. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Tip number one, if you can, try to book an early morning flight. This way, if your flight is either delayed or canceled, you have a better chance of getting rebooked that same day. But if you book an evening flight or a later flight and that flight gets delayed or canceled, there may not be any other flights leaving that day and you may end up spending the night in the airport. Tip number two, take advantage of online early check-in 24 hours before your flight departs. Some benefits include a guaranteed seat on the flight. If you're not checking bags, you can go straight to security. You can reserve your seat if you're not paying for a seat upgrade and you will receive your mobile boarding pass on your phone. But if you do prefer a paper boarding pass, you'll also have that option of emailing your boarding pass to yourself and then you can print it out at home. Some of you may be wondering, what's the big deal? I have my itinerary confirmation, so I should be good, right? Well, the airline ticket is really a contract between you as the passenger and the airline governed by a set of rules and what's called a contract of carriage. It's completely normal for airlines to overbook their flights because some flyers cancel their flight rebook their flight, but if no one does, you could be denied boarding. That's when airlines ask for volunteers to bump on the next flight or offer incentives like airline credit or even cash. So once that 24 hour mark hits before your flight departure, check in either on the airline app or on their website. And just to be safe, set a reminder alarm to early check-in just in case you do not receive a notification from the airline. So always think of booking a flight as a two-step process. Step one, you book your flight. Step two, check in 24 hours before your flight departure because it's pretty much first come, first serve. Tip number three, even if you early check in online, you should still arrive at the airport early. You just never know what could happen. You could be en route to the airport and get stuck in traffic. Or if you're flying a budget-friendly airline like JetBlue or Frontier or Spirit, the security lines may be long, unless you have TSA pre-check. Tip number four, if you drive to the airport and park your vehicle there, whether it be in short-term or long-term, take a picture of where you park. The parking structure, the surroundings, the level, if there are levels, so upon your return, you shouldn't have an issue finding your vehicle. Because if you're like me, I don't like parking in large parking lots. I always have to write down where I parked in my phone. I would look up like, okay, where am I? E17, okay, E17. And I would jot it down in my phone because when I leave the store, I don't remember where I parked right away. I always have to stop and look around and think to myself, okay, where did I park again? Where did I park my car? Oh no. Tip number five. If traveling with a carry-on, you must follow the TSA 311 rule. The 311 rule is that all liquids, gels, creams must fit in a 3.4 ounce or less size container, fit in one clear TSA approved toiletry bag per one passenger. So if you have two or more of these in your carry-on luggage, your luggage will get selected for inspection and you'll either have to fit everything in one pouch, throw some things out, or if you don't wanna throw out anything, you'll have to go back to the counter and check in that bag. The hack that I use when I travel with two liquid pouches is that I put one in my personal item, which would be like my backpack, and then I put the other in my carry-on luggage. And so far, I haven't got selected for inspection. Tip number six. Bring an empty water bottle with you, whether it's reusable or plastic. Most airports have water bottle refill stations, so once you pass through security, you can find one and refill your water bottle as many times as you want. Some benefits in bringing an empty water bottle is that you don't have to pay five or more dollars for water in the airport. Or if your flight gets delayed or canceled, you're going to get thirsty, so you can refill your bottle as many times as you like for free. And some flight attendants may even fill your water bottle for you. <laughs> Tip 
Tip number seven. If you don't wanna purchase expensive food in the airport, you may bring your own food from home, as long as it's not liquids. Anything spreadable like peanut butter, cream cheese, yogurt are considered liquids. So if you do bring anything spreadable, it must be in a 3.4 ounce or less size container. And if you're going to eat your food on a plane, please don't bring any smelly foods like fish or curry or hard boiled eggs. Please be considerate of your fellow passengers. Tip number eight. If you check in luggage, consider placing an electronic tracker inside, like an Apple AirTag. Yes, you can track your luggage on an airline app, but that's limited. With an electronic tracker, you can track your luggage every step of the way. So in case it gets lost or stolen, you can pinpoint exactly where your luggage is. Tip number nine. If traveling with a personal item, like a backpack or a tote, plus your carry-on luggage, consider investing in a J-hook. A J-hook hooks onto your luggage, then you can hook your personal item onto the hook. This makes your luggage less heavy and easier to wheel around throughout the airport. Tip number 10, check your flight status before you leave for the airport. One year, my mom and I, we were traveling to Barbados and we were just about to leave the house to head to the airport literally one foot out the door and I received the flight alert that our flight was canceled. Luckily, my best friend was dropping us to the airport so I didn't order an Uber. So if you order an Uber or a taxi, please check your flight status before you do so. Tip number 11, once you're at the airport, constantly check your gate status to make sure it didn't change. Gate changes happen frequently throughout the airport. It has happened to me multiple times. And whether you're at your gate or not, you could be getting something to eat, hanging out at a lounge. You should periodically refresh the airline app to be sure your gate hasn't changed. In case you don't own a cell phone, like my mom, Bruh. there are airport monitors all throughout the airport. So you can check those and stay alert. Tip number 12, store your carry-on luggage in the overhead bin above your seat or in front of your seat. This way, when everyone is deplaning, it's easy for you to get up grab your luggage and go. However, if it's stored in the overhead bin behind your seat, you'll have to wait for the passengers behind you to deplane first before getting access to your luggage. So try to board with the group number that's listed on your boarding pass. This way, you'll have a better chance of finding room in the overhead bin above your seat. Tip number 13. If your flight offers in-flight entertainment, bring a pair of wired headphones because you'll need it to plug in the jack. Now, airlines do offer headsets for purchase on board, which actually used to be complimentary years ago, but their headsets are made of the cheapest quality. You'll be lucky if both earbuds work, so it's best you bring your own. Tip number 14, bring something to keep you warm at the airport and on the plane, like a jacket, a throw, or a sweater. I always bring a hoodie with me, and I usually put it on once I'm settled at my gate. That's when I start to feel a chill. Tip number 15. Now this last tip is really for international trips, but everyone can follow this tip. And that is to bring a pen with you. International trips require you to fill out a customs declaration form on board and the flight attendants don't pass out pens. They only pass out the forms. In the past, they used to pass out forms and pens and then collect the pens after everyone finished filling out their forms but that stopped a long time ago. You can ask the flight attendants if they have a pen, but most likely they will not. So please be prepared and have a pen on you. I usually travel with three pens, one in my crossbody and two in my personal bag. And some of you may think that's a bit much, but you just never know. And sometimes my neighbor sitting next to me would ask to borrow my pen because they don't have a pen. So I would lend one out from my bag, but then I would think and look at them like, are you new here? So those are my 15 know before you fly travel tips. Comment down below and let me know if any of these things happened to you. Whether you had a gate change, you were denied boarding, you forgot where you parked. How was that experience? If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Provocación, se saque como es la pagai, la pagai, imitación, se saque como es la pagai.